How's everybody doing? It's been a while since uh, I've talked to a lot of you guys, but uh, it's good to be back and get in front of you guys and hopefully help you guys gain, gain a little PDF knowledge. As Stephanie said so eloquently that I'll never be able to reproduce, uh, my name is Tim Huff. I'm the field support manager here at Adobe now, and today we're going to go over Acrobat packages. What a gift. I mean, come on. It's an amazing thing, right? Because when you start talking about what you want to do when you start working uh, and getting information engaged to other people, you want to make sure they can read that information. So PDF packages came about for some very simple reasons. One, we wanted to put a lot of things together into a package but not manipulate the PDF file. And we needed to combine things like secure documents and stuff like that and data collection workflows and things of that nature. We're going to go through all that today. So we asked a few executives here what they thought about engagement. And they were saying that engagement is very important, that it really, if you don't engage correctly, it definitely makes your sales or your workflows suffer. And you can believe that websites and, and multimedia, just like what we're doing today, is very important in the engagement workflow. So I didn't have to fly out to meet you. You didn't have to fly out to meet me. But we're able to engage each other by using the web and, and, and a medium of connect as we see here. So one thing we want to do about this is we want to focus on being able to engage with our customers, being able to communicate in clar with clarity, bring people together, and be able to protect sensitive information. Being able to do that, this allows me to actually put this information into the package. If I didn't have PDF packages, then I wouldn't be able to actually communicate things like, um, um, a, I don't know, a court order that would have a, a, a digital signature on it or a secured document. I wouldn't be able to put those together because I can't strip the security off of something I didn't secure. So that's one of the things we're going to work on today. And the reason we're doing this is because of the things that we can't get challenged by every day. Things like global distributed workforces. Um, you know, the pace of business is going 90 miles an hour and it's, you just got to keep up. And then as most, uh, pro athletes are finding out today that the inundation of information that we get, as soon as something gets turned over or you get your picture taken in Cabo with, uh, some, uh, tall blonde person, uh, then, um, <laughs> you know, it's going to get on the internet in, in just minutes. Same thing with business. So let's slow down a little bit now and just think about what are we talking about today? What is a PDF package? Now, I noticed that uh, as we went through, a lot of people said that they were kind of beginner intermediate types. So let's take a look at exactly what a package lets you do. It lets you assemble related information into a single PDF file while maintaining the individual PDFs within it. Kind of like the picture you see there. When you ship something, you know, with a shipping company or something like that, you don't strip everything out of a book. You don't take all the pages out of the book and then try to put it into a new book and then put it in there and ship it out. You take three or four individual books, you set them into a box or container, and then you ship them out. Think about a PDF package that way. When you combine PDFs into a single PDF, we actually take those PDFs apart and we put them back together again into a single PDF. That was why we had a lot of the problems with the security side of the business. If you didn't secure that document, how can we allow you to take that document apart and merge it back together into another PDF? That would be kind of uh, against the whole security issue. So some of the really cool things we do with packages are we combine packages with the file wizard, which we'll show today, email archives, forms data collection workflows, and being able to create embedded indexes. Because when you think about it, when you're creating a, uh, a package, it could be thousands of documents, um, especially with your email. I get about 400 emails a day, and I use PDF to archive my email. I definitely want to create an index in that so I can search it in, you know, very quickly. PDF packages allow you to combine and collect data that's not possible in a single combined PDF file. Secured documents, as we discussed, multiple would have multiple digital signatures in a package. So I can have my accountant sign off on the cost documentation, engineers can sign off on engineering documentation, and procurement can sign off on their own things and have it all in a single packages. Again, something you can't do in a single uh, combined PDF file. And you can have custom cover sheets. So this kind of personalizes your file. So what if you're sending an ROI or, or, or an RFP to somebody and you want that business? You just don't want to have a generic white page in the front that says, here's my R RFP, RFQ, I'm sorry. I want to have, you know, here's my company and some really nice things. So you can actually do that. We'll show you that a little bit today as well. PDF packages are used for things like proposal and projects, courtroom presentations, intelligence briefings, technical documentations, and digital archives. Today we're going to use the Global Corp uh, projector project and we're going to show you how we can actually create a project and how we're going to actually put some technical documents together as we get ready to bring this thing to, um, uh, to market. Now, packages are great 
but there's a, I want to tell you about two small limitations that you're going to have with a PDF package. One, if you want to use these in a review-based workflow, you cannot do it using the Acrobat Wizards. The reason is because if you think about it, you can have a secured document and you can't...